Hey, what's going on? This is Miss Instrumental. Thank you so much for downloading the Precision Loops Mini Pack. This video is specifically geared towards Logic Pro users and is to show you the best way to use these loops inside of Logic, if that is your DAW. So let's get started. What I'm going to start by doing is going to the Precision Loops Mini Pack. I'm going to choose Soulful Loops in this case. Max is going to choose a sample to Deep. I'm going to go to Stems. Once I go to stems, I'm going to see that the BPM is 80 BPM. I'm going to change my project BPM to match that. Next, I'm going to just drag and copy all of these into my project. I'm going to create new tracks. And what you'll see here is I'm actually going to, I see that these two are the same. I'm just going to delete this one because I do not need it for this example. What I'll do is I'll play it back. Everything should loop perfectly at 80 BPM. So that works perfectly. So where does the problem come in with Logic Pro that I haven't seen in other DAWs that I use? For instance, I use Studio One as well is once you start to change the tempo, everything kind of goes haywire from there. The BPM never quite changes, it just looks like it does. So if I play this, yeah, so it's not gonna loop right because it's still 80 BPM even though it says it's 132. So the first thing that you wanna do here, I'm just gonna pull this in a bit is you want to go to the samples, select all of them, right click, go to tempo, go to write project tempo to audio file. Once you do that, what you wanna do is go up here to uh, your flex time, flex pitch, the flex tool, right? You're gonna wanna change all of these. I'm gonna change it from monophonic to polyphonic. What you'll notice here is that if I change the BPM, in this case, I'm gonna change it to 90. The first thing you notice is none of that foul stretching that happened uh, just a couple of seconds or a minute ago did not happen. And now when I play this, this should actually be a true representation of 90 BPM. So let's check it out. So it is, that is actually 90 BPM. So I hope you guys uh, were able to take a look and just see one way. There's a lot of different ways to approach this in Logic, but this is the best way that I've seen to do it, especially when it comes to using a lot of these melodic samples like flutes, things that aren't specific to, uh, they don't have like any, you know, you know, boom, boom, or they don't have any like chords and it, no, definite markers that says this is the BPM for this foul. This flute is more ethereal, you know? It's very dreamy, so it doesn't have any like boom, boom, you know, no BPM markers. So in any case, that's what I've seen. Uh, it's kind of the best way to approach using loops in Logic Pro X. Um, you can use this for vocals. If you're uh, editing vocals, sometimes Logic does the same thing for vocals. I actually got uh, a chance to check out some, some videos where it, it went into that as well. So hope you guys enjoy using the Precision Loops Mini Pack. Again, thank you uh, for downloading this pack. It's 100% royalty free. It was 100% free to download and all of the samples and loops were created. 100% originally by yours truly, Miss Instrumental. So I want to thank you guys and take care.